um, it's hard for me to see violence and of course people approach it differently I would see it that a child needs limits other people think a child needs affection I feel that I'm a small little part of a system and if I want to get paid from the system I have to comply but it's difficult and yes I'm having another coffee but it's decaffeinated and I made another boo-boo I opened the fridge and I ate cheese from the cleaning lady but we made an exchange I gave her some bread so I got so I don't feel so bad um, yeah so a little bit about teaching if you want to have your emotions felt, no. Uh, don't show weakness. Don't show weakness. Don't show weakness. Always act strong. And whatever you think about violence, people see things differently. And since in today's world, the child is at the center, not the society, not other children either, the child, the child. So instead of thinking about the mother, uh, father of the child who got hit, you're supposed to think about the child that hit and embrace them. But that's not according to my philosophy. My philosophy says that we need to practice what we preach. And if you say zero tolerance for violence, it should be zero tolerance for violence. But I'm a nerd. I don't know. I always think that if you say something, you should do it. Um, unfortunately, that's not always the case. Of course, there's also the problem of self-esteem, where I'm teaching things that I've never taught before, really, like on a regular basis. And I could substitute, let's say, but to actually teach a subject and not have a teacher's guide and not have any control in what I'm teaching and just say, teach it. And you see, you see the assignment the same day the child sees it. It's very stressful, first of all, because I need time to think about how I organize a lesson. So how am I supposed to be organized just like when I learned that teaching is, is, is something that it's like cooking. You do it slowly and you prepare it beforehand. You don't just serve it cold. So definitely awakening to the fact that there's a gap between uh, what I think and what other people think. But also that the best person to talk to is sometimes yourself. And not to expect anything. If you expect from people things, then you will be disappointed. And yes, I would have liked to see life differently. But that's it, c'est la vie, as the French say. So that's my conclusion. I see myself as a kind, warm-hearted, nice person, caring. I see myself as a really good person. But other people see me as weak, not strong enough, um, not acting in the right way because I don't even know the system, but I'm expected to fit in a system I don't even know. I don't even know what I'm supposed to do in such a case. There's no guidance because I'm sort of like a, a very, 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 very small, insignificant part of a system. Um, I feel really sad because I realize I can't change things. And I realize I'm not important. What's important is that every child feels respected and honored. And it doesn't matter what they do. The consequences have nothing to do with anything. It's a theater of absurd at its best. Samuel Beckett couldn't have written a better play. There's no connection between what you do and what you get. There's no connection between logic of any sort. 
and I have to accept that and play along or get off the stage. Peace, land, love.